if you bloat or are very gassy or have abdominal pains after eating, then you may be experiencing something called SIBO, which is short for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. I do gastroenterology research and I'm gonna to explain to you how you go from a healthy state to a SIBO state. Our gastrointestinal tract is abundant in many bacteria, healthy and harmful, but they're mainly found in the large intestine right here, or are sometimes called the colon. Some of those bacteria in the colon, specifically the harmful ones, can enter the small intestine where they can cause problems like abdominal pain and bloating. There are several causes for SIBO, but the two main ones are impaired gut motility, meaning the time it takes for food to go from your mouth to the toilet. And then the next one is reduced stomach acidity, which is responsible for killing all of those harmful bacteria, preventing them from entering the small intestine. There are two types of SIBO. The first one's hydrogen SIBO. The next one is methane SIBO, and they're diagnosed by the lactulose breath test but there are things that you can notice at home to determine which one you may have. So first, hydrogen SIBO is associated with an increase in gut motility, an increase in diarrhea, an increase in flatulence, and also bad breath. Methane SIBO is less common and it's associated with reduced gut motility, increased constipation, and abdominal pains. Okay, so the solution to this is one, we need to starve off and kill those harmful bacteria in the small intestine, and then two is we need to restore gut motility. The first thing you're gonna do is follow a low FODMAT diet to decrease bacterial fermentation. So these are the foods that you should avoid and the ones that you can enjoy so you can favorite this and come back whenever you need to. Studies also show that berberine is a highly effective antimicrobial that you can use to specifically kill off the bacteria in the small intestine. And alongside this you're going to space out your meals every four to five hours without snacking. That's going to allow something called the migrating motor complex to sweep all of those harmful bacteria from the small intestine back into the large intestine. You should notice improvements within one month but if you don't then you might need the elimination or elemental diet.